OK. Um, so what I'd like to do is show you guys right now how to make sure you can find the slope if I give you a graph. So when taking looking at a graph, um, if I ask you to find the slope, all right, remember the slope is going to be the change in your two quantities, which will be the change in your, in your y values over the change in the x values. right? So you need to first remember what exactly slope even means. It's the change in the y values over the change in the x values. Now, when given a graph, the easiest way to determine that change is what we like to call a slope triangle. So what I do is I need to first highlight two points that I can compare the x and y values, right? Because every point on a graph has an x and a y coordinate, right? You have an x and a y coordinate. So when you're plotting points, every one of these points has an x and y coordinate. So first thing I need to do is I need to determine what are two points I can compare. And on this graph, we have one point, negative 2, 0. And we have another point, 0, comma 4. All right, so when you look at your graph, you can notice those are your two points. So what I want to do is I want to create a right triangle of those two points. So what I'm going to do, only using vertical and my horizontal lines, I'm going to create a right triangle. Hopefully you guys remember from geometry, creating that right triangle. You could also have done the right triangle right here. It doesn't really matter. But now what I want to do is I want to see, all right, so from this point to this point, how much did I change? What was the change in my height? or my rise, or my y values. So to go from here to here, what did I have to do? Go up four. Well, we'll read it from left to right. So I had to go 1, 2, 3, 4. So you could say, since you went up, you went over 4. And then to go from here to here, what was my change in my run, my x, my horizontal? Plus 3. Well, it's actually on this graph. I know it's not the best, but it's actually plus 2. So remember, all your slope is, all you had to do for your homework was find two points develop a slope triangle, as we say. And then remember, it's the change in your y over the change in your x. So how much did my y coordinates change? They changed by a positive 4. And my, and my uh, x values changed by 2. So I could say my slope is 4 divided by 2. But let's always reduce it, which equals 2. Or you could write, you know, yeah, 2 over 1. But we'll just reduce it down to 2. Really small. You know what I mean? How the lines really close to uh, number number 10. Okay, I'll do number 10 next. You guys see that? Any questions? Nope? 